Almost every night we report on one protest or another and often that's where the story stops. An angry demonstration but really no change. But tonight one community protest in Altadena actually worked. Residents there got together after six convicted sex offenders were placed in a house in their neighborhood. Greg Weissman joins us now live from Altadena and Greg we understand the situation there is about to change. Leela, we have been here all evening and most of the afternoon and have seen no sign of the six men who live at the home behind me. And just a few moments ago, the truck in the driveway pulled up and one neighbor identified that as belonging to one of the six men. They have until Monday to vacate this property and it is all thanks to one very galvanized community and supervisor, Mike Antonovich. I'm holding you accountable. Everyone in this room needs to hold them accountable. Yeah. And if they don't do it, get somebody who will do it. It was that kind of emotion which galvanized the community of North Altadena to do whatever it took to remove six registered sex offenders living in this house on Rising Hill Road, a movement which was led by neighbor Day Ryan. We couldn't have done it without him, and I really think it's because of all the noise that we made. We just were a small area within Altadena, but we, ju we just didn't lie down and just accept it. The him she refers to is Los Angeles County Supervisor Mike Antonovich, who took to task the Department of Corrections, who was responsible for placing these six men in a community filled with families and children. Hello, anybody home? The six were to vacate by Monday, but by late this afternoon, it appeared they had already moved on. It appears that the state has sole control and authority where they place these individuals, and unless the community speaks out, as Altadena had done, you're going to see them in somebody else's neighborhood. What is truly remarkable about this story is that this movement and all its effort began less than a week ago. A testament to what can be done when a neighborhood of 250 comes together for the common good. Carrie Eno put on hold making an offer on this house, which sits across the street from where the sex offenders lived. Now that they're gone, she and her daughter Maya hope to make this their new home. We um, had heard just, I think it was this morning, that they were to be, that they were to vacate. So. We got on it right away, and now I'm here to sign the paperwork and take a look. It's unclear where the six will be moved, but their new address no doubt will be made public on Megan's Law website, which is how neighbors first discovered them living here in Altadena. Last night was the first time that I was able to have like a restful sleep, and my parents weren't able to sleep. A lot of neighbors with children weren't able to sleep, and so now we just feel like we can just blow a sigh of relief. On Tuesday, the County Board of Supervisors will uh, examine a motion that was put forth by Mike Antonovich to look at any kind of legal loophole that may give communities more of a say in the placement of registered sex offenders. Live in Altadena, I'm Greg Weissman. Back to you in Hollywood. Greg, thank you. And